I'm back. I'm here tonight with another market update. Tonight's topic, South Miami. I'm gonna talk about the South Miami single family home market. Uh, and I see some of you that logged on live in South Miami. So here's your South Miami home market update. Now here's the thing about South Miami. South Miami is a fraction of the size of Coral Gables or Pinecrest. So when we're looking at the South Miami market, the pool of information that we have is so much smaller than Coral Gables or Pinecrest. It's just little. And then to make it even more complicated, South Miami, okay, South Miami runs from Danny Fassell Park on the south all the way up to even some houses up to Bird Road on the north. So it crosses US 1, goes up to Bird Road. Everything um, west of Red Road, basically all the way over to the train tracks, if you can think of what I mean. So there's a huge difference between South Miami south of US 1 and South Miami north of US 1. So I'm breaking it down in those two ways tonight. I'm going to talk to you about what's happening and you're going to freak out when I tell you what's happening. South of US 1 in South Miami versus north of US 1 in South Miami. So let's start with South. I'm talking about homes in the city of South Miami, south of US 1 for the next couple minutes. There are a total of eight homes on the market. Um, they range in price from 1.6 million to 7.5 million. Two of the eight are listed for the land. So that's the 1.6 and the other one is like 2.25 million that are basically selling for land value. The other six are two resales and four new construction houses. All right, so those range in price from 3.2 million all the way up to seven and a half million dollars. So if you realize there's nothing on the market south of US 1 in South Miami under a million. And hold on because it gets better. There are three homes in that neighborhood that are pending sale, um, one of which was listed for $1.1 million and it went under contract in three days. Because when you see that price in South Miami, you scoop it up and it got scooped. And then we've had 25 closed sales in that neighborhood so far this year. Uh, they ranged in price from ready 1.15 million up to 5.18 million. So there hasn't been a single sale of a home south of US one in South Miami all year that sold for less than a million dollars. Nothing has sold for less than a million dollars. If you're living in South Miami, pay attention. Okay. Everybody's home is worth more than a million dollars. Um, most of the sales that we've seen of the 25 were newer homes. And I thought this was interesting. 18 of the 23 that sold had a pool. So I often say this to my husband, we live in a home that doesn't have a pool. I really think that having a pool opens up the number of buyers that are interested in your house. And, and although pools are expensive, I think you really do get a lot of that investment back when you sell your house. So if you've been thinking about putting in a pool, I say go for it. It's a good idea. Um, okay. In this same, okay, so we had 25 closed sales so far this year, but if we compare that to last year, up to today, last year, we had had 37 closed sales. But here's the difference between this year and last year. Last year, five of them had sold for less than a million dollars. This year we haven't had a single one. So big difference. The highest sale last year was three and a quarter million and only three sales total sold for over three million bucks. This year we had a sale, what did I tell you? The highest sale was uh, 5.18. So sale prices have obviously gone up. Um, prices went from last year, look, I'm looking at all the sales from last year, from January to October 11th, and comparing it to this year, from January to October 11th. The average price per square foot last year, $545. The average price per square foot this year, 
829. That's like, that's a 52% increase in the average price per square foot year over year. I mean, that is huge. All right, so that's my update on South Miami South. Now, let's look at South Miami North, which is the city of South Miami north of US-1. Here's the thing. When you look at the city of South Miami homes north of US-1, we have a huge range in what's out there. And I guess I could say that for a lot of markets. Like, we have homes that are little two-bedroom, one-bath homes. Um, well, that you'll see, like, there was a, there's a pending sale right now that was listed for $235,000. And then we have listings that are priced up to six and a half million. So we go from huge acres with brand new construction homes down to little tiny homes. Some of them are even wood frame houses. So it's really hard to kind of look at all this data and make these average, you know, sweeping generalizations. It's just everything's so different. But I can't, you know, I can't break it all down. Um, so I, I am going to give sort of an overview of what's happening north, but I'm just putting this disclaimer on it. All the inventory north of US-1 and South Miami is so different. Now, I'm always happy to dig into this deeper on your house or on your friend's house if they are like, I live in a new construction house north of US-1 on an acre. Well, then let's just look at that and I'll do the same kind of thing for them. Just saying. All right. North of US-1, there are currently... 20 houses on the market in South Miami, priced from 725,000, the least expensive home on the market in South Miami is 725,000, up to 6.5 million. Um, 15 pendings, so there's actually 20 active and 15 pendings, that's a lot of pendings. They range in price from $235,000 all the way up to one and a half million. So what's pending isn't anything in the super high you know, priced range. We've had 48 closings this year, ranging from $400,000 up to $4 million. Like I said, a huge spread in terms of price and what's out there. And so 48 so far this year, the same period last year we had had 69 sales. So again, we're looking at like a 50% decrease in the number of sales we're seeing this year compared to last year. Um, but overall, the prices are still way up compared to last year. Um, so all in all, looking north and south in city of South Miami, there's only 28 homes on the market. We're up, the, the lowest we ever saw was back in February, there were only 10 houses on the market. So the inventory has definitely gone up. I mean, look, we've almost tripled since February. But if we go back three years, we are still well below the number of homes that we had on the market back then. So I continue basically seeing the same thing in all these market updates that I'm doing. This is the summary. Inventory is rising, sales are going down, but everybody's value has gone up. Prices are way up. In this market, it's still a seller's market. We still have less than six months of inventory, uh, but Depending on what happens in these next few months, I predict that we're going to continue to see more homes come on the market. I predict that we won't see as many selling as we have in the past. So I do think the scale might tip soon and will be considered a stable market. And then we'll see if we end up tipping over into a buyer's market. So that's all I have for South Miami. I thought it was pretty interesting. If you live South Miami, everything's selling for over a million. Hello. And um, if you have any other questions, I always encourage you to reach out. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. Do you like these? Are they too boring? Are they too long? What do you want to see more of? I welcome your feedback. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm doing an update on Coral Gables condos. That one's going to be pretty interesting too. So tune in tomorrow. See you then.